This is the third SolidWorks tutorial in the chess set series. And this one, we're going to make the bishop. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by creating a new file and create a new part. And just like before, we're going to use the front plane and ultimately we're going to be doing a, a revolved feature. So I'll start my sketch and I'm going to start with a vertical center line. Now, what happens if I draw my line and it's not quite vertical? Okay. Well, the reality is if I didn't snap it to vertical, I can always come back, click on the line, and I get this heads up toolbar, and I can make it vertical. All right. So the nice thing is the software allows you to go back and make changes, make edits. This is just one way to do that. So I'm going to go to my smart dimension tool, and I'm going to dimension the height of this to 1.5 inches. Um, before I get much further, you'll notice that I only have two decimal places. I like to have three. So I'm going to go up to my document properties. And I'm going to change my drafting standard to ANSI. And then I'm going to go to my dimensions and make sure I'm set for three decimal places. So now everything I do moving forward, I'll be able to see all three decimal places. If you want more, that's fine. Um, three is the level of precision that works for me. So now we're going to go about this same way we did before. I'm going to start with a rectangle at the base. I'm going to have another rectangle that comes up above that. All right, and then I'll zoom in and I'll start adding some dimensions. So just like before, the, the base of this chess piece isn't going to change. So 375 by 125 thousandths. Okay, and then from here to here, the offset is going to be 60 tau. And then from here to here, the offset is going to be 60 tau again. All right. And then I'll go through and I'll trim. And I'll use my offset tool to offset this segment, not the chain, just the segment. I want it to be construction geometry. And I want to make sure it's going in. It's going to go 60 tau. You can check. And then I'll trim here. That's pretty much the same thing we've done in every single other one. So nothing new here. So now I'm going to go to my offset tool and I'm going to offset up. And if you did the rook, you might find some commonality here. So I'm going to select this bottom here and I'm going to do an offset from the bottom of 0.848 or 848 thousandths. Right? It's the same distance we used on the rook. So I'm going to green check. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my taper. So my taper line, I'm using the straight line tool. I'm starting down here. I don't want to snap to the midpoint, but anywhere inside that is fine. And then I'll hit escape. To get back. I'm going to grab this dimension here for the 848 and we'll just move it off to the side so it stays out of the way. Okay, the next thing I need to do is I need, so we know where this is going to be vertically, but we didn't dimension it horizontally. So let's do that. So I'm going to dimension from this point to my center line. And that's going to be a distance of 159 thou. Okay. One squared away. So now I'm going to work on the collar. Use my rectangle tool. Starting here, I'm going to come out and draw me a rectangle. I'm going to smart dimension this rectangle. Okay, the height of this is going to be 60 thou. Again, this is... This isn't terribly new from the previous pieces you've done. Okay. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dimension how far it is from here to the center line. Okay. And this is going to be 375 divided by 2, which is going to round down, round to 0.188. Okay. So it's 3 16 the decimal. Equivalent for 316s is 0.1875, and it just rounded to three decimal places. All right, so now I'm going to trim. So I'll trim up through there. Looks good so far. <clears throat> All right, now for the bishop, the top of the bishop is going to be kind of kind of oval shaped, but it does come to a little bit of a point, and we'll and we'll talk about that in a second. All right, but I need to know kind of both ends of it and then how far out I want to pull this curve. So to do that, um, I'm going to offset from the center line in, all right, to give me a point 
that is uh, 0.124 in. All right, so what I'll do is I'll just draw a point and snap it onto this line, and then I'll dimension it. So from my point to the center line is going to going to be a distance of 124 or 0.124. Almost an eighth of an inch, an eighth of an inch being 0.125. All right, so now I should be able to trim. Oh, it didn't let me trim. Okay. So you know what? I got rid of that line. I'll just redraw it by snapping to those two points. Good to go. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to add in the curve that is the top of the bishop. So there's a couple different ways I can do this. Let's try a three-point arc. So with the three-point arc, if you look, I click one end, click the other end, and then I use my third point to drag it out. So you might have used this in other projects in here. So I'll click the beginning, click the end, and then I'll drag it out. All right. Now, uh, things to keep in mind, the more I drag it out, the less it's going to be pointy, the more it's going to be kind of round and look a little bit like a, um, like a pawn, all right, or a large pawn. So, okay, this one's kind of on you. Okay, I just want to make sure that I don't go any further than my base because then it would look really weird too. All right, so that looks pretty good right there. Um, you're right, I didn't give you any dimensions um, for that. So this one's kind of on you. So now I'm going to green check and I've got everything I need here. I am going to do a little bit of cleanup. So I'll come in here, I'll get out of my smart dimension tool. And so I just hit the escape key to get me out of whatever tool I was in. And I'm just going to select this segment and delete it. I'll come down here, grab these stray segments, delete, select, delete. Okay. And now I'm ready to revolve this. So I'm going to exit sketch and I'm going to go to revolve. It's going to give me the warning that we've gotten used to by now. And yes, I would like it to automatically be closed. Okay. Um, since I have two center lines, it doesn't know which one I want to revolve around. So I'm going to declare this as my axis of revolution and then green check. All right, so now that looks pretty good, except we're missing the chamfer and the fillets. So let's do like we do, and let's add our fillets. Okay, I'm using <clears throat> 30 thou fills on the top, so 0 0.03, 0 is my 30 thou, and I'll select the collar. It does both top and bottom. Awesome. Okay, green check. I'm going to go to my fillet tool once again, and down at the bottom, I have a 60 thousandths fillet. I'm going to grab this edge here, green check. And again, I'm going fast because a lot of this is review. Under my fillet tool, I got my chamfer tool, and I'm going to set myself up for a 30,000 chamfer at 45 degrees. And come on this edge here, green check. All right. So now the only thing that I'm missing from the original is the, the cutout in this. All right. So to do that, I'm going to go to my front plane and I'm going to make a new sketch. I'll go normal to my sketch and I'm going to use my ellipse tool. Ellipse is a fancy word for an oval. And I'm going to start the center of my ellipse about 25%, so a quarter to a third of the way down. Okay. So I'm going to click and then I'm going to drag out one radius and then I'm going to drag out my other radius. So an ellipse is made up of uh, two different diameter or two different radii. Okay, that looks pretty okay. All right, if I want to play with it, I can grab this and I can pivot that ellipse. All right, in this case, I'm trying to get it so that it's um, this end or this um, point of the ellipse is, is right on the center line. Okay. And then if I want to get silly, I could add dimensions. So I could dimension from here to here. All right. In my original, I set that to 96 thousandths. Okay. And then I can dimension the radius from here to here if I want. Okay. Making sure that um, it strings out um, parallel to that the axis made up of those two points. All right. And for this one, in the original, I made it 539 thousandths. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit my sketch. And what you'll notice if you orbit this around is that that sketch is kind of right in the middle of everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an extruded cut, but instead of just cutting in one direction, so let's say I set it for through all, okay, you're going to notice it only cuts out the back. 
I want it to go in both directions. So if I go back into my extruded cut, I can set it for through all both and then green check. All right, so now I have this cut going through both, <coughs> both directions and it's going all the way through. So if you want to save it here and leave it at this, you can. All right, there's one extra step that I like to do on mine. You don't have to do it on yours, but if you want to, you can. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this back in a little bit with uh, an additional revolve. So I'm going to go to my front plane and I'm going to make another sketch. And I'm going to go normal too. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a center line starting at the very top and coming down to my origin. I'll hit escape to get out of my center line. All right. And then I'm going to go to offset and I'm going to do an offset of this edge here. I'm going to offset in. Okay. So I'm going to offset in a distance of let's do uh, 30 tab. All right. So 30 second of an inch, but I want it to reverse and I want it to be, um, I want it to be object geometry. All right, so now what I'm going to do is green check there. I'm going to trim this at the center line. And then I'm going to connect the bottom all the way over to my center line. Okay, so now I have this segment here, which at its spine has this center line right through, right? I'm going to exit my sketch and I'm going to do a revolve. It's going to give me the same error that it always does. Do you want to, do you want to close it? And yes, I do. All right. And because there's only one center line this time, you'll notice that when I do my revolve, it's giving me this solid that's going to fill in there. Okay. So I green check and there we go. All right. So that's it for the Bishop. Again, if you haven't saved it, make sure you save it and you can move on to the next piece.